Hello, in this video we are going to solve this exponential equation and find the value of m. So we have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of m and this equals 512. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of m and this equals, here we can rewrite this 512 as the product of multiple 2's. We have 512 is simply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 that is into 9 places this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 times 2 and times 2 so if you multiply this out this will give you 5 1 2 so we have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of m equals this is 2 to the power of 9 because if you count 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 2 times 2, this is 4. 4 times 2 will give you 8. 8 times 2, that is 16. 16 times 2, that is 32. 32 times 2, that is 64. 64 times 2, that is 1, 2, 8. 1, 2, 8 times 2, that is 2, 5, 6. 2, 5, 6 times 2 will give you 5, 1, 2. So that is it. Now, if you look at what we have here, the bases are the same. So when the bases are the same, what do we do? We compare the exponents. So that means we are now going to have 3 to the power of 4 to the power of m, and this equals 9. So what next? The same thing we did here is the same thing we are going to do here now. 9 here is a perfect square, so we can have 3 to the power of 4 to the power of m equals, we can rewrite this 9 as the product of multiples of 3, that is 3 to the power of 2. That is 3 into 2 places. So going by the same identity, when the bases are the same, you compare the exponent. That means we are now going to have 4 to the power of m, and this equals 2. So what do we do at this point? Now let's express this 4 as the exponent of 2. That means we can have 2 to the power of 2, that is 4, or to the power of m, and this equals 2. Remember, this 2 is raised to the power of 1, because 2 raised to the power of 1 is 2. So let's make use of this identity. If you have a to the power of n, or to the power of m, this is in this form. That means we are going to have a to the power of n times m. So that means we are going to multiply this exponent, so that is what we are going to do right here. That means we have 2 to the power of 2m, that is 2 times m, and this equals 2 to the power of 1. Now, going by the same identity again, if the bases are the same, you compare the exponents. That means we are going to have 2m is now equals 1. So if 2m equals 1, what do we do? We can solve for m here. We divide both sides of this equation by 2, and 2 definitely will cancel this 2 we have m equals 1 over 2. So m equals 1 over 2. Now, how do we know that this is the correct answer? Let's go ahead and check. So recall we had, recall we had 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of m equals, what do we have? 5, 1, 2. Now our m is 1 over 2, so let's substitute it in. We are going to have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 over 2, and this equals 5, 1, 2. So if this actually gives us 5, 1, 2, that means 1 over 2 is the actual correct answer. So let's go ahead and do that. So whenever you have an exponential problem like this, you start from the top two numbers. So we're going to have 4 to the power of 1 over 2. If you have 4 to the power of 1 over 2, that means this simply means the square root of 4, and this is 2. So that means we are going to replace these two numbers here with 2. So we are going to have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 2. Now we have 5, 1, 2. So we go again. Now we have these two numbers here, so let's find it. That means we have 3 to the power of 2 which simply means 3 times 3, and this equals 9. So we now replace these two numbers with 9. So we are going to have 2 to the power of 9. 
and this actually takes us back to what we did before so let's go ahead and do it again 2 into 9 places if you have 2 times 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 2 and times 2 this should be 9 places 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 if you multiply this out 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 16 16 times 2 32 32 times 2 64 64 times 2 we have 1 to 8 1 to 8 times 2 we have 256 and 256 times 2 we have 512 so that means we have 512 equals 512 this actually shows that 1 over 2 has satisfied this equation and this becomes our final answer so that is it for the video please if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like the video and share it to your friends thank you and goodbye